Ruth, uh, the Panama Files caught everyone's attention today. Uh, the rich and wealthy and how they managed to avoid paying tax all over the world. We're likely to hear more about this over the coming days and weeks, aren't we? Yeah, it's just a total blizzard. I mean, it's a blizzard of information, and I guess we'll have to wait until uh, it all settles to see what's left. I mean, a lot of truths may come out. Um, it's a question of what gets done about them. I mean, uh, in one way, journalism is about data, and this is really an example of yeah. data journalism. It's a huge amount of data as well. Right, exactly. So processing that data, you need a lot of technology. Um, technology is a player on both sides of this. Um, in the Irish Times coverage today, they mentioned that um, there were tech gurus involved in adjusting the times of some of the documents involved to give people financial advantage. Now, I don't know what financial advantage exactly that gives you, but you need a tech guru to do that. So you and I could go into our you know, Gmail and, and change a date. It wouldn't actually change. You know, we, we leave a digital footprint, whereas you need technological experts to change that digital footprint. And then journalists then would also have to... And I suppose it shows the importance of having what people call the traditional media, the big institutions who still have a bit of money to spend and can spend time doing this type of work. You mean in terms of the journal the, the associations that involved? Yeah, they, they seem to have got together with this consortium of international investigative journalists. I think the point behind that is international cooperation um, across journalism to, to basically leverage the power of that, that communication within journalism um, in the same way as international banking, I suppose, and financial services would leverage their uh, connections internationally to their advantage. Journalism is trying to do the same. Do you think it'll connect with ordinary people? The, the scandal mm -hmm. will connect. I think most ordinary people will shrug and say, what, you mean powerful people are hiding money? Really? You, you yeah. know, <laughs> is that really happening? I, I think, I mean, that's maybe the cynical view. But um, will it connect with ordinary people? I think it will very much in terms of the consequences, yes. But because so much technology is involved in financial services and in basically potentially hiding money, and of course not everyone involved or named here is doing anything illegal. Um, but basically, you know, the technology involved in finance is so fast... Um, it all happens at the blink of an eye or, or many times faster than that, that it's impossible for the ordinary person, um, even if we know what's going on, to actually see what's going on because it just happens so fast. Well, Ruth, another...